for something to do. <laughs> this is the Don. The Columbus Zoo has officially opened the much anticipated Adventure Cove along with Jack Hanna's new animal encounter village. The zoo started working on the project after the public asked for some more animals by the entrance. So NBC 4's Eddie Hawks, the first reporter to set foot on the new attraction, gives us a little sneak peek. Hey guys, Adventure Cove, not too far from the entrance of the Columbus Zoo. And once you get here, it doesn't take you long to realize how unique this place is. You see 360 degrees of sea lions. Adventure Cove officially opens with a splash. It was a long journey. Four years to be exact, spanning two countries, two states, and endless dedication. They were our life. A lot of us actually lived on site at the facility. We had our sea lions. We were with them all the time, forming this relationship, seeing them. They're really awesome animals. And being able to do it, I'm honestly getting a little emotional right now. Knowing he'd have to be away from his wife, Shane Gilbert was one of a few trainers selected to live in Florida for two years, while the sea lions from China learned the tricks to their trade. For me, when I was asked to join the team, uh, it's undescribable. I mean, that's this has been my dream to work with these animals. The opening of this exhibit, a dream to the entire zoo. If it looks like I'm beaming, it's because I am. And how could you not when you see the sea lions in their element, belly flopping, high fiving, and smooching their trainers like their best friends. People are going to come here, and you're going to see them jumping out of the water. You're going to see them laying out. You're going to hear our males. These were incredible animals, and we knew they would just be perfect for what we were trying to achieve. And the tunnel, the first of its kind in the country, the zoo says, was no easy task. They're looking at one of the largest sea lion exhibits probably in the world. It's 375,000 gallons of salt water. With the life support for a building of four stories and three miles of piping, it's the reason this facility has taken so long to build. But like all the best things in life, for the zoo, it was worth the wait. I'm not ashamed to say I've definitely cried over it, tears of joy, and then the day that we loaded everyone up and came here, it was amazing. I'm getting goosebumps right now talking about it. While you can't see shows right now, they are scheduling some tours, so you can just go to the website and sign yourself up for that, and we'll have that located on NBC4i.com. Local for you, Hattie Hawks, NBC4. To be kissed by a sea lion. How about that? Well, you you still need to reserve a time to visit the zoo unless you're a member. And then, of course, you can always go after three.